Hello you crazy awesome dancer, we want to wish you a happy new year full of health, joy, happiness and wishes coming true. May you become the best dancer there is. We also want to thank you for learning with us this year and growing together. This is the last video for this year, so we thought of doing a double lesson. One for salsa and one for bachata. For the other lesson, don't forget to check the corner, you just click and you will go to the other lesson. Today you are going to learn a intermediate towards advanced level combo. Once again, we want to wish you a, a happy, happy new year! year. start with the first part. Of course we are going to go from a basic step, one, two, three, I will turn six, seven with the hand on to my neck, one, two, three, I will ask the hand, five, six, seven. We are going to do, go into a small open break, one, two, three, and let's say we are going to end in the copa position. From this position we go one, two, three, five, six, seven, I turn, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, one, two, three. There's nothing too difficult here, guys. Our footwork to say so is just a simple turn. One, two, three. We go five, six, seven. We get a little bit closer to our follower to be able to go into that open break. So we do one, two, and we end up in this position. For the ladies, it's nothing complicated. We have two basic steps and then we have that open break ending up in a copper position. I will do just one basic step. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, then the copa. One, two, and three. From this position with a little bit more details, we do that basic two, three. I turn with the hand towards my neck. I have the normal grip. And guys, it's like I am catching a mosquito like this. So I go one, two, three. And you see that I have my fingers all the way on to this side. I'm not, uh, let's say, pulling the girl. I'm here. I go. Ah, like this. And I just request the other hand, five, six, seven, I have the grip here. Girls, remember, you always keep the grip because if I want to let go, I will let go. So if you feel a little bit of pressure, don't let go. It's really important. We do that uh, small open break, one and while I push with the, uh, not pull with this hand, this one just goes further. Followers, be sure not to turn like on your own will from the uh, open break, like one, two, and turn yourself, yeah? Because also you will hit the leader with the ponytail. Yeah. She did that now. And guys, if you want to avoid that, be sure to block her, especially with your right hand. From here, so we go one, two, and I kind of block here, I block. And we end up here. To continue, all we do here is First, like a double turn only with our left hand, guys, like this. Pam, pam, pam. But of course, it's a little bit more difficult than that because we do it once without the steps. We do it once, we grab the hand, and then we go over with both of them. So remember, we let go of the hand one time, we caress to be able to catch it again, and then we go with it, like this, one more time. So now on steps, I'm going to go five, six, seven. I go. Five, I catch it, especially when she's like facing me, I can catch it because she's also seeing my hand to say so, and we go over. Nothing too difficult, but be sure to practice a little bit if you don't know already how to, you know, like catch the double hand here, like boom, ah, yeah, like double hand, double turn, and you got the idea. Let go one time, catch it the second time. That's it, as simple as that. Ladies, here just be sure to keep the right posture and keep your hand accessible to the leader. So, here, 
Ladies, don't hide your hand. <laughs> don't go like this, yeah? You need to have a little bit of space in order for the guy to be able to catch it. One more time, from the top, basic, one, two, three, let's go, I turn, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three. To continue, of course, it's not that simple because we are going to turn her, but we are going to switch the position towards her side. We are going to go from this, slowly we go five and I step to the side. Imagine that you want to do like a kick, like kick and exit. To see it better, we're going to go like this. I go five, six and I go to her side. And of course you can continue like with a normal kick if you want to finish the move here and like a double turn, etc. This is not our combo, but I want to show you that you can split, you can cut the move whenever you want and just add something of yourself, of your own moves. Yeah, English. 2021 is gonna be better. <laughs> now, how do we do this? For the leader's step, I go. Five, I begin to travel a little bit diagonal. I'm not going forward because I'm gonna have troubles going around my followers, so I'm going a little bit diagonal. Six, and I go seven. Leaders, I want to show you a trick here that I'm using it and I'm using it all the time. I'm not actually stepping on one, you'll see it in a second, so here are my feet, watch closely. From this position, I go five, six, seven, one, two, three, Five. You see, I stepped correctly on five, but on one, two, three, I stole my steps. Why are we doing this? It's a little bit better to focus on the girl and it's a little bit, I like it more because it gives me more control over my follower and over the move instead of stepping. But of course, if you would be doing it at a contest to say so, you have to uh, step like five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And you saw, even there, I'm doing like a open break, stepping back, because it's natural to use the follower's intention, direction, yeah? It's gonna be weird going like this. It's better to go like this and exit. So keep that in mind. Either you steal the steps, you go like seven, one, two, three, five, or you step one, two, three, five. That was it for the leaders. For the followers on one, you have to be careful to go on your basic step if you don't feel any other signal from your leader. So once again, from here I have five, six, seven, one, two, three. Leaders here in order not to push her, keep her close to you and have your arms not relaxed, but not stiff either. Especially when you're turning, you have the tendency to go like this, which means a push. Instead of relax your hands a little bit, do a little bit of dissociation and help her do that basic step. Let's do it one more time from the top and the finish is gonna be like an open with an enchufla. We go a basic step, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five. We've opened and I will push, no, I will pull, not push, pull. I will tell her, come towards me, I will raise the hand and I will switch positions. Remember the double enchufla, whenever you're doing it, you change the hand once and then she comes under your right hand. So it's the same here, we're just going into that second half of the double enchufla. One more time from this position, we go five, six, seven, basic for her, one, two, three. Here I will turn her a little bit with strength, with tension, with speed, like, ah. So she faces me and ladies, you are on your left. Exactly, and leaders, you are on your right. Because we are on five. Now, I pull towards me, I step, and I turn towards my left. If it's a little bit too difficult for you, how you can practice this separately, just pull her into a simple kick, one, two, three, open, and do that second half of the double enchufla, like this. One, two, three, pull her into the kick, kick, two, three, turn her on five, push and stop, and then pull and you go in the other position. So that's how you practice this 
finishing part and then if you when you feel comfortable especially as a leader because you have to change all the grips and the positions uh, add it to the other chunk ladies for this combo it's very important to really react fast to the leader's tension in order to be able to stop and go when he wants we're going to do it two more times facing this way facing this way only on count slowly go basic two three five six seven one two three five six seven one two three five six seven one two three five six seven basic two three cross body to switch the positions one two three five six basic one two three five six seven one two and three five six seven one two three five six seven one two three five six seven one two three before we finish leaders as we said in the bachata lesson if you haven't checked it out there it's important to feel your own body to feel your own weight your own muscles to connect everything and then just think about what you want your follower to do also, again, as I said in the bachata video, whenever you practice something, salsa, bachata, kizomba, doesn't matter. Any dance style you practice, try to put into small parts whatever you're doing. For example, do the basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's hope you don't have problems with the basic because otherwise you shouldn't be watching this video. <laughs> so I do a right turn with the hand on my neck. One, two, three, and I just ask the other hand like five six seven so this would be a small part just turning one two three and asking the hand then from here the next part is doing first only that copa position one two three the next small part is just turn her five six seven here next part do that opening boom and the next part just change positions always try to think like checkpoints you know like the car is going through the checkpoints is the same for your body both of you going into the move we got this right we move on to the next step onto the next step onto the next step that way you will learn everything much faster that's it for this video we want to wish you once again a happy new year lots of love health and many 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 beautiful dances see you in 2021 with many more dance projects lessons tutorials and hopefully festivals <laughs> Bye bye